Hey guys, welcome to English class. So you'll need page 253 to 254. We're moving on to a new chapter. We're actually going to learn how to create imaginative instructions. So we are going to be doing a writing chapter this time. So first let's read on top of page 253 together using precise words. Have you ever read instructions that were not clear? Instead of answering questions, unclear instructions create more questions. One of the main reasons that instructions are unclear is that they do not use precise or exact words. Here's an example of instructions that are not worded precisely. So, what is another word for precise that the book mentioned? Exact. Very good. So, precise. A precise word is basically the exact right word in a certain sentence or description. And they're important because they make the meaning as clear as possible by answering the questions. Why is it even important? Well, I can think of one example. They're very important when you are looking at recipes for cooking and baking. Let's look at this first recipe together. I want you to pause the video and read it out loud to yourself, please. Okay, so after reading this recipe, tell me what are some questions that you have after reading it? Okay, yeah, some of the questions I have are, okay, how much water do I put? How many eggs do I need to put? Uh, what size baking pan? How long do I have to cook it, bake it for? You know, there's a lot of different questions. Now, let's look at the second recipe. I will read this one out loud. Empty the packet of brownie mix into a large bowl. Add one third cup of oil, half cup of water, and one egg. Stir until all the ingredients are moistened or soft. Pour the mixture into a greased eight inch square pan. Bake at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. All right, there's a lot of different words that change, descriptions that have changed that make recipe number two much more precise and exact than the first one. Can we agree on that? Great. So there are two things to keep in mind when using precise words. I'd like you to pay attention to these. The first one is using the thesaurus. You're going to be using the thesaurus to find precise words. For example, look at these example. Look at these sentence examples. It's kind of redundant to use the word put so many times. That's why thesauruses are so useful because they give us synonyms, words with some similar meanings. So I want you to go to thesaurus.com. I'll put the link here and try to look for words to replace these puts. So put that quilt on the bed. Let's put the flowers in a vase. In a vase, put some mayonnaise on my bread, please. So pause here and take a look at the thesaurus entry for put. So you might have seen something similar to this. Put that quilt on the bed or lay that quilt on the bed. Gives you a more clear picture, right? Let's put the flowers in a vase versus let's arrange the flowers in a vase. And lastly, put some mayonnaise on my bread versus spread it on the bread. You, I'm, you can see a clear picture here. The second way to make things more precise is to add more details, which we practice when writing essays. So looking back at the recipes, what are some details that have been added about the baking pan? So we're gonna look at the first and second recipes. Again, I want you to pay attention to the details that were added about the baking pan. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. So talk to me about what, what the difference is. What are the extra details that this recipe added? Yeah, definitely. It tells you exactly the measurement of the pan. It tells you the shape of the pan, whereas the first recipe just says put it in a baking pan, as if you could put it in any type of baking pan, right? Now let's try to practice this, adding details to make these sentences more precise. So try to add more details to words such as rocks, jar, and vegetables. Talk to me out loud, pretend that I can hear you, <laughs> and pause here and let me know how we can make these more precise. What kind of adjectives can we use? So I thought of some like some, something like this. Instead of put some rocks in a jar, I want to say something like 
put some small round rocks in a clear jar. It gives you a much more vivid picture. Our second example, cut up some vegetables. Okay, but what kind of vegetables? What if, what if you're cooking with your dad and your dad was just like, hey, cut up some vegetables. You're definitely going to ask what vegetables, dad, right? But if he said, cut up two medium-sized carrots and four large potatoes, that's a lot more precise. You know exactly what to do, okay? This is why it's important to know how to use precise words. And now we are going to practice page 254. Guys, definitely use this, this definitely use the thesaurus, uh, even like the online thesaurus for this ex for these exercises because they will help you and help you expand your vocabulary as well. I could do a few with you guys just to give you some examples. The red, it can't, you can't really see it, right? Okay. Rewrite these sentences using more precise verbs than the italicized words. You may use the thesaurus for help. So this section, we're using the thesaurus. Number one, break the Graham crackers and put them in the bottom of the cake pan. So we're changing which words? Yes, we are changing break and put. So let's go to the thesaurus. Well, we already have put here, but let's do break. Wow, lots of op options. <laughs> we could say, well, we can't use any of these words. We can't say shatter the graham crackers. <laughs> you could say that about glass. We could say crush, right? Crush the graham crackers. That's a good one. Out, what about put them in the bottom of the cake pan? Put them in the bottom of the cake pan. Hmm. You can say place them, set them, Play them. All right, I hope that made sense. So go ahead and try two to five. Have fun with these guys. It's so much fun to use a thesaurus and discover new words. It totally changes the meaning of the sentences. So come up with some funny or cool ones as well. Add more details to these sentences to make them more precise. So this time, so for the first one we practice using thesaurus. Now we're gonna be using adding details, okay? So number six, let's do it together. Tie a button onto a string. Okay, well, kind of look at the nouns. You can add a lot of adjectives. So I can say tie a red or round red button onto a colorful striped string. Much more vivid. Okay, so I gave you some examples. Please just have fun with this. This is supposed to be a really fun exercise. And yeah, go crazy with the thesaurus. It's really fun to learn new words. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.